everyone welcome back to a new session on dentist demo so today we have a new topic school dental health programs so you know dental health programs are not very common in indian scenario indian schools are not much uh, focusing on the dental health of uh, children but whereas the programs are mainly concentrating on the nutrition programs like midday meal scheme icds scheme so all such schemes are focusing on uh, the nutrients and uh, the wasting or standing uh, problem to managing uh, wasting and standing problem so the uh, countries like uh, usa and other uh, european countries are uh, started the school dental health programs or uh, as some uh, 50 40 years ago so we are studying in this chapter about the programs which is uh, which was happening or which is currently going in uh, united states and some other countries so let's see what are the programs uh, they are uh, conducting to promote and to protect school children's uh, dental health So we'll see what is school health, why it is important because it is an aspect of community health program. So it is an economical and powerful means of raising community health in future generation. So it was uh, William Fisher, a dentist of England who started this uh, concept of uh, treating children in schools. Uh, so in Indian scenario, a little bit about um, it's very uh, primordial model was started in 1909 where the first medical examination of school children was carried out in Baroda city and even in board committee of 1946 reported that school health services were practically no existent in India and they existed were in an underdeveloped state so still there is not much improvement happened in uh, our country so in this chapter or this video we are mainly um, studying about the united states school and the health programs so so it has a definition uh, it is a very big definition we don't need to uh, break our head for this definition so let's see the aspect of school health services there will be uh, counseling and emergency care and there will be health appraisal and school health education and curative services so all these are parts of school dental health programs or the aspect of school health services so objectives like to help every school child to appreciate the importance of healthy mouth to help every school child appreciate relationship of dental health and general health and correlate dental health activities with the school health programs to encourage and observance of dental health practices including personal and professional care so diet and oral habits stimulate dentists to perform adequate health services for children so these are the objectives of school dental health program and requirements it should be administratively sound should be available to all children it provides the fact about dentistry and dental care it creates favorable attitude provide the environment for development of psychomotor skills necessary for tooth brushing and flossing and uh, primary preventive dentistry programs like fluoride programs and screening programs so all these should be there if a proper program we are planning the basic requirements so what are the advantages of a school dental health program because these type of programs can bring comprehensive dental care including preventive measures to school children where they gathered anyway for non-dental reasons in the largest possible number so it is a most easy way to treat uh, dental diseases at very early stage it is just like a screening of a disease because once we uh, treat the disease at very early stage <coughs> it has a lot of benefits in the future generation because anyway these kids will be becoming the future generation and school clinics are less threatening than the private clinics 
and if children can be maintained in a state of good dental health it will be relatively easy to maintain their dental health in adult life so at regular dental attendance pattern in early life will be continued even after the school age and utilizing dental auxiliaries can further reduce the cost <laughs> so what are the elements of a school oral health program so first there should be a proper school community relationship then we should conduct an inspection dental inspection then we should educate the students then they should uh, we should conduct programs then we should refer if were needs further treatment and there should be a follow-up so these are the elements so we have seen objectives ideal requirements elements of school oral health program so first we'll see what is it the community uh, and school relationship there should be a task force or a task committee which includes the school authorities the teachers the parents administrators the dental professional and health officers uh, so this committee should decide what exactly uh, they are planning to do in the school so that is the first one then we need to conduct dental inspections uh, in the schools so where the dental extent of dental diseases can be found so we need to uh, know what exactly uh, the disease pattern and the prevalence of dental diseases in a school setting okay so uh, that is conducting dental inspection so there are lots of benefits for dental inspection that is it serves the basis for school dental health instruction it builds positive attitude in child and the child and parents are motivated to seek adequate professional care and all are concerned with dental health baseline and cumulative data for evaluation of school dental health programs so next uh, there is a lot of limitation also parents and children frequently accept the inspections to be comprehensive and depend entirely upon it rather than a complete dental examination they won't go to any dentist they will be completely trusting this program so that might be a limitation sometimes school inspection may tend to discourage rather than promote development of habits visiting the dentist at an early age and if it is desirable for parents to be present during dental examination this procedure is not always feasible in school inspection so such limitations are there then we need to uh, give proper dental health education regarding the brushing pattern and other things by we can use the dentist uh, they can act as expert resource person then they can uh, help the teachers to uh, motivate or to educate their children or the students then we need to conduct programs so after the inspection and after the health education we need to conduct specific programs like toothbrushing programs fluoride programs school water fluoridation nutrition and sealant placement and science fair brushing programs it's like uh, we are teaching the uh, students how to brush so we need to uh, teach them uh, what is the exact brushing method if it is very younger group we can uh, go for a phones technique and if it is a little bit uh, higher higher schools so we can go for a modified bath technique so brushing programs fluoride mouth rinse programs we uh, keep two gram of packed sodium fluoride and it will be mixed in 100 ml of water we have seen this neutral sodium fluoride and we can give it to the students 5 ml of rinse by giving each cup to all children and solution keeping rinsing the solution for one minute so this is a, a good program at the early stage that is fluoride mouth rinse program then we can give fluoride tablet like 2.2 uh, milligram sodium fluoride that will provide one milligram fluoride in the mouth um, for a minute and then swallow they need to chew and swish it then they need to swallow but it gives both topical and systemic effect then we can uh, uh, mix water uh, fluorides in the school water so it will automatically provide school water uh, provides uh, caries protection it should be uh, we have seen in fluoride chapter it should be around four to five times higher than the optimal concentration that is one ppm then we can give nutrition programs mm, then sealant placement so we can provide pit and fissure sealants 
for first, second, sixth, and seventh standard because these years are coinciding with eruption of uh, molars and permanent molars and permanent premolars. Then we can keep science uh, phase for improving the knowledge. And we need to uh, always keep a referral because uh, some children might need further complicated treatment. So such cases uh, referral is missed but how do we uh, monitor the students we referred whether they got the treatment done or not so in that case we can keep a blanket referral method it is like a program which is proved to be effective in many schools that blanket referral of all children to their family dentist in these programs what we are doing is all children are given referral card to take home and then subsequently to the dentist who signed the card upon completion of examination treatment or both the signed cards are then returned to the school nurse or classroom teacher who plays an important role because we are giving a referral card to the student students taking the card to the parent and then to the dentist so dentist signs the card uh, by mentioning that this uh, treatment which was referred for was done here and he gets the uh, the student gets the card back to the school dental nurse or class teacher so the school dental nurse or class teacher will be uh, getting the idea that this uh, student has completed the treatment which was referred for so it is like a blanket protecting the children uh, so about the dental diseases because students might uh, they are at a younger uh, age so they might not give very good attention for the treatment part so if we are giving a card means uh, they might displace it they might not give to parents so in this way the blanket referral card uh, will be a very effective way they take it to the parent and parent to the dentist and after signature that the treatments done then he'll get back to the school dental nurse or class teacher so class teacher will have an idea how much students are completed this if anybody is not uh, getting back the signed card so he can monitor and he can uh, ask the student to uh, do it so he'll be having an idea about how many of the students are completing this task and how many are not completing so that is a blanket referral then we need to keep a follow-up program so let's learn some of the uh, school oral health programs so we have many programs but um, all the programs are not from our country all are from uh, united states the first one is learning about your oral health then tattle tooth program asco dental demonstration not carolina statewide program sharp which is school health addition referral program which is an acronym sharp then theta teenage health education teaching assistant program then some world health organizations program so let's see what is learning about your oral health it was started by american dental association in 1971 in the schools it is a comprehensive program to develop uh, the information uh, to teach the students about oral health so it was implemented at various level preschool level one two three four and the core material was each of the five level uh, teaching packet will be there so each packet will be having a, a guide on dental health fact and curriculum guide which contains goal behavioral objects and suggested activities and five lesson plans for preschool and seven or more plans for other levels and 12 spirited masters and methods and activities for parental involvement so this is a program where uh, the school is trying to improve the uh, dental health of the students by providing uh, educational tips to all these levels of uh, all these levels of students so the tattle tooth program is a texas statewide preventive dentistry program so it was started in 1974 to 76 between texas dental health professional organization and texas department of health so what they were doing is um, they were uh, giving a similar uh, kind of health education tips and in 1989 
the tactile tooth 2 program was launched that is a new generation grades to k6 so there will be three videotapes um, for part of teachers training package first videotape for the training lesson format second for brushing and flossing third tip provides teachers with additional background information so this is tactile tooth program the first one was learning about your oral health it was started in 1971 by ada tattle tooth by texas in 1974 then 1989 tattle tooth 2 program so we just need to know about this program not in very detail next one is asco dental demonstration it is again a small farming community uh, in danish population so there was surveys made 1943 and 46 49 to 47 section of dental health of minnesota department of health supervised a demonstration of school dental health program in esco because they were reporting a lot of high incidence of caries so in the esco community all the schools were providing this program so that was uh, like prevention and control and dental health education and dental care so it was done in asco farming community so after the 10 year period there were 28 percent reduction in this age group 34 reduction in 6 to 12 and 14 percent reduction in 13 to 17 age group north carolina statewide preventive dental health program it was in 1970 North Carolina Dental Society passed a resolution for this uh, preventing dialysis program embracing school and community water fluoridation so the next one is SHARP so this is school health additional referral program so acronym is SHARP it is like motivation through home visits so the program started in philadelphia with the purpose of motivating parents so parents should be motivated how these parents are motivated by uh, the district nurses so these district nurses with the cooperation of school personnel the, the nurses made day visits to the family in which mothers were at home so what they uh, do is they uh, keep on motivating uh, the parents uh, day visits or through uh, phone calls for working parents uh, for a better uh, dental health uh, of their children so the one-to-one -one basis of health guidance between parent and health worker uh, created a better rapport between school and home so that is an additional referral program by the dental nurse which was in philadelphia so teenage health education teaching assistant program or theta so it is like dental personnel train high school children so the dentist or the dental personnel go to the school and they train high school children to teach about preventive dentistry to elementary school children so these people in turn teach the elementary school children okay so dental personnel train high school children they train elementary school children so that is like teenage health education teaching assistant program so we are training teenage people to train the elementary people so that is theta program before it was sharp so in india we had one program like all gates bright smile and bright future program but it was uh, nowhere seen nowadays and WHO also has some global health uh, initiative program is designed to improve the health of students, school personnel, families. Now we have two types of uh, care that is incremental care and comprehensive care. So by its name suggest increment means layer by layer, comprehensive means altogether okay so increment is layer by layer and comprehensive is altogether so incremental layer is a periodic care it is a periodic care we provide 
a care to the school children on a periodic basis because we don't have enough fund so with the available fund we treat a particular class and next year we take up the another class and the next year we take up the another class so each year we provide maintenance care to the previous group okay so one year one class or two class how much our fund we have we provide the treatment and we provide uh, maintenance care in the successive years for the previous students so that is increment care because we don't have enough funds so we provide the dental care to school children by layer and layer it is by increment okay so that is why it's known as incremental care so advantages are we can uh, treat the disease before it is reaching pulp because we are treating the students so if you go to a school we always pick up the lowest class first so every time we take the lowest class so each year that class goes to the higher class so we provide maintenance care so at the higher levels one or two classes might miss the treatment but uh, we don't have enough fund to provide all the class so we are treating the disease at very early stage we are not going and treating at the highest class that is if a school with one to ten we go and treat the first standard not the 10th standard because we need to pick up the children with earliest lesions that is the initial lesions so all these can be captured and intercepted at very early stage so it will have a good prognosis so disadvantage is time consuming because restricted industry is more time consuming you know piecemeal because we are providing at one interval then again and again so more laborious restorative work comprehensive care is nothing but we are providing all treatment at one point of time okay so we have enough fund we are going a school and we are providing whatever treatment we could afford we provide them all at one point and on later year we provide maintenance care so it is a meeting of accumulated dental needs at the time of population taken into this program and then correction of new increment of dental disease on a semi annual or periodic basis whereas the incremental care it was not like that we are not taking all the students at once at one point of time or class by class we are taking an increments as the name suggests but comprehensive care we are taking all the students at one point of time and we are providing it initial care and maintenance care so that is incremental care and competency care so that's all about uh, school dental health programs you need to learn a little bit about its objectives uh, its components uh, the community relationship the inspection sealant programs and health education so the components of a school dental health program and few examples which is in united states that is texas uh program that is tattle tooth sharp theta program learning uh and uh, the other programs and the last part is incremental and competency care that is how we provide care to the school children okay so i'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more thank you